Hello friends, welcome back to the game room. Kind of a busy month on pickups, at least for me. We had Black Friday this month, so I kind of had my eye on some games at the game store. I was biding my time until Black Friday to pick them up for a little bit of a discount. So without further ado, here we go. First game, Ready to Rumble Boxing, second Dreamcast. Now I've had a Dreamcast since I would say within the first month of launch in 99. This is only the 11th game that I've picked up for it. So something I'm definitely trying to rectify now. Now I remember this being pretty fun. I have some experience with it. I'm assuming that this was on a demo disc. That may, maybe the one that came with my Dreamcast. So I know I have played it a bit. I remember it being fun. I think reviews of the time, they, they were generally good reviews. Um, this is a cheap common game. It was $15 and I got 25% off. So this was also released on PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64. I mean, it was the era of cross-platform releases, especially by a company like Midway. Who's just They're going to release it on anything at this time to get it out there. But glad to add another one to the Dreamcast collection. Next up, Golden Axe, Sega Genesis, Black Grid box game now i'm very familiar with golden axe 2 i've had that game played that game beat that game many times over the years but not so much golden axe 1 i just haven't been around it but i'd always kind of kept an eye out for it i always wanted to add it to the collection and i was at disc replay a disc replay in northeast indiana kind of near chicago and i saw this game on the shelf for 15 dollars, and i immediately knew that couldn't be right so, as you see, it's complete. It even has a fold-out poster. So I took it up to the counter, and yeah, $15. My assumption is they priced this based off a of loose. The loose cart is about $15. Complete's about $45, so to get this for $15, that was a good job by me. Kind of a screw-up on their part, but this game does seem harder than Golden Axe 2. Maybe it's just because I'm more used to Golden Axe 2, but happy to add it. To the Genesis collection. Next up, the NES Gauntlet 2. I do love Gauntlet games. I mean, I haven't played it much. I, I guess the genre itself, like Smash TV in a way, and Gauntlet. I've played Gauntlet a little bit on the NES. I guess I'm not actively co collecting NES at this point. There's really not a lot of games I've got my eye on looking out for. Just if I stumble on a game, I was actually surprised I didn't have Gauntlet 2. I had to look it up and see. He's like, do I have Gauntlet 2? And I don't. Uh, I've been playing through, actually, I just beat Loaded for the PlayStation. Which is kind of similar to Gauntlet. But it kind of got me in a Gauntlet mood, wanting to backtrack. Play some of the older games, the ones that came before it. We'll see how that goes. Next up. Oh, my one of my favorite. Well, this game's not one of my favorites, but... The Long Box, one of my favorites, especially Sony PlayStation. Long Box game, the Chess Master 3D. I mean, it's a chess game. Um, I, I think this is pretty much the same version that's on the Super Nintendo, and there's probably a Genesis. I mean, this game was probably on everything. This is 3D, so I'm sure the graphics are updated for the PlayStation complete. I mean, it's a chess game. Am I going to be playing through this one? No. I loaded it up a little bit. It, it's a little sluggish and I don't know the 3d kind of seems like a novelty the presentation's okay but will I be playing through this one probably not but I love collecting long box games I'm trying to get a complete set so if I see one I don't have especially you know this is a common one this is a $20 game also got this on Black Friday 25% off I think I'm up to around 50 PlayStation 1 long box games so Anytime I can add another one in the wild, I'm going to do it. All right, the next game on the list. Next pickup, Mega Man 8 Anniversary Collector's Edition, PlayStation 1. I love the first six Mega Man games, NES Mega Man games. I own all those, played those, love them. For whatever reason, every game past that I haven't played. I haven't played the X series, none of the 16-bit X series games. Saw this on Black Friday, impulse buy, had to get it. Now in my haste to buy this, 
it does say an anthology booklet should be enclosed. Mine doesn't have it, so if I had to do it over, I'd probably wait, get a complete version, but it doesn't necessarily bother me. I can still play the game. What do I know about Mega Man 8? Really, not much. If memory serves right, this was the game where voice acting was introduced into the Mega Man series with comical results, some would probably say. But yeah, I'm going to be playing through this one for sure. Love Mega Man. Hopefully it holds up to the NES ones. Next on the pickup list here for November, Akuji the Heartless. What do I know about this game? Nothing. Uh, it was developed by Crystal Dynamics, released by Eidos. Same with Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, which a demo is included on this disc in Tomb Raider 3. I believe this was an action platformer, kind of in the same vein as those games. But I think Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver came out right after this and kind of... It's like, why does this even exist? Um, cheap common game. Got it on Black Friday. I think it was... 10 to 15 dollars plus 25 percent off so more of a curiosity pickup here i'll be firing that up at some point and seeing what's offered there a complete coincidence on the same day i also picked up this legacy of kane soul reaver i didn't even really notice at the time that it was kind of the brother to this game um I know there's a Dreamcast release of this game. I believe the best, best version to play is probably the Dreamcast version, but... PS1, I had to pick it up. I know I've heard good things about this game. I would really like to fire it up. I'll probably wait till I get a Dreamcast version to play it. I'm sure the Dreamcast is the best way to go when you're going to play through it, so... Either way, I'm glad to add it to my PlayStation 1 collection. But yeah, I really don't know much about it, so... We'll wait and see on that one. And finally, the last pickup, the big pickup for this month, Xenogears, Sony PlayStation, uh, Squaresoft game, JRPG. I think this is the very first game in the Xeno series. I have played Xenoblade Chronicles, which I love that game, so. Anytime you can add a classic JRPG to this uh, library I'm going to. Um, I'll definitely be playing through this game. The PlayStation 1 was the first era that I bought. Well, bought. First era that I played through JRPGs. My first game was Final Fantasy VII. My first JRPG. I loved it. I've since... I haven't played through a lot. So, I mean, I played through Final Fantasy VII, VIII, IX, Wild Arms, um, Suyukuden, uh, Vagrant Story, although that's not necessarily a traditional JRPG, but glad to get Xenogears. Looking forward to playing this one. That was my big pickup of the month. Um, mostly, I guess I'm focusing on PlayStation 1 now. That and Saturn. Now, I didn't have any Saturn pickups this, this month, but I mean, those are just, those are basically, I, I had to look for eBay, eBay finds on Saturn. You don't really see those out in the wild. And, I mean, Saturn's really expensive. I mean, even PlayStation 1 now is kind of expensive, but... Um, I guess my long-term goal is to get complete Saturn. And a crazy long-term goal is to get a complete PlayStation 1 collection. Not just long box, but all black, black box games. And I don't really care about the greatest hits, but... I guess that's a lifelong goal. Maybe before I die, one day I'll have a complete collection, but... Yeah, so those are my pickups for this month, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you all had some good finds on Black Friday. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.